looks the ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest, but regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. The Urbano Caldera is located slap bang in the middle of a residential district here in Villa Belmiro. It is certainly a venue which has a lovely, homely feel to it. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Fast. No, that was never going to make it. De Bruyne. Now it's Carrasco. Cristiano Ronaldo. No, that pass isn't the best. And it's De Bruyne. Out to the left it goes. Tries to dig great leap. Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited this. That'll be a throw. Now it's Carrasco. Bernardo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo. He is through here. That's a good cross in and a good clearance out. Torreira Carrasco. And it's Bernardo Silva, now it's Bruno Fernandes. He spares the hit! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Bruno Fernandes really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Portugal with their first corner, the first in the game for either side, actually. And it's hoisted clear. And now a sudden chance to counter. Lukaku. Tielemans. Belgium looking to pass their way through. Well, the runner's been sold a little bit short there. Belgium clearly didn't help themselves by telegraphing that one. It was always going to be intercepted. Move forward and quickly so. Oh, good play on the left-hand side here. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Can he finish? And it's the whistle for half-time. Well, perhaps not full of thrills and spills, but a game which has been of a very high level Certainly defensively, as both teams walk off unscathed, a tight affair, nil-nil at the break. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals, the score nil-nil. So, off we go once more. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Nice control. And it's Carrasco. Niceties are not part of this approach. This is actually quite aggressive. Oh, easy pickings there. Luca Bacchio. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given.
Bacchio! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Luca Bacchio sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Tielemans. Real chance here! He's Ferreira Carrasco! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and it set up the opportunity. That's great effort. Portugal can start a counter here. Stood up well to him there. And the counter is on. Ronaldo had a really good go at breaking through, but ultimately he was just about kept out. Yeah, definitely not much wrong with what he tried, all things considered. The defence were just well prepared for what was coming. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Well, he's someone renowned for his pace and those darting little runs, but also for being a very good ball carrier as well. They want to add more dynamism to that front line. Vass. Octavio. A real chance to break. He's left his man. Openda. Octavio. Chance to finish. That's a fine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Cristiano Ronaldo. The ball has bounced loose now. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Portugal go in search of a late winner. Gets away from his opponents. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Luca Bacchio! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So all square, we need a winner, and we will be back for extra time. No winner in 90, 30 more to come. Oh, that's a key interception. Tielemans. Onana. João Palinha. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Looking here to chip it through. He's found the way through. No, he wasn't going to be fooled. Time for a change in personnel. Well, I think he'll undoubtedly add more movement and fluidity in the final third with his passing range. Look, movement creates more options, and that was really sharply done. Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Openda. Nuno Mendes. Openda. He's away. Openda! Great effort, but the end of the first period of extra time. Well, players doing their best with tired minds, tired limbs, close to running on empty in search of that elusive winner. 
They have 15 weary minutes to find that, or will it be a case of succumbing to the inevitable? Well, we are already up and running again. Nil-nil still. Play to win or play for penalties. Gets his pass away. Good read, needed to be. Belgium really aren't making anything meaningful of their time on the ball. And it's Bernardo Silva. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. You wonder if that's it. And that is it. There will be penalties. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but they can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying, and, and now it's lottery time. 120 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive, and now this is it. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Torgan Azar steps up for his penalty. No, it's been saved! He was so focused there, fantastic save. And stepping up, the skipper. I thought he handled the pressure really well there. His focus cut right through it. Tielemans is second man up. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Portugal looking to extend their advantage. Denied! He's made the save! Oh, that was right down the keeper's throat. It was an easy save to make in the end. The third man in the queue. Keeper's read that beautifully. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Portugal with the chance to go two up. He's put it wide. Van Aken, perhaps the man you would pick for this moment. Great stop, keeper's denied him. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. So can he do it? That's won it! Shootout winners, it is such a compelling way to win, compelling and cruel. But they were so composed under pressure, and that was the difference. Well, it's been such a long match, and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game. But I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Begden alongside me, and to wish you all a very good day.